Last night I went to do figure paintings with a group of artists. In this video, I want to share with you how I do figure paintings with watercolor. In the first hour of the evening, I already finished one version of the painting. I'm not too happy with the composition yet. So for the next 15 minutes, I want to try a different composition. First, I want to mix with a light yellow brown color. I already have the present blue and the Windsor red. And now I mix with the yellow color, get this like a golden tone. Okay, first I want to do is I want to mark down where the location of the head. I, the brush I'm using is number 10 round brush is a sable here. If I want it to be make it a little lighter, I can just use the water to make the color lighter. I have two water bottle and hanging at the front of the uh, supporting board and make this very compact uh, portable painting station. Uh, the night before this painting event. Now I coming into mark down where the nose and where the mouth uh, from the nose to the chin. And I'm not ready to go into any details yet. I just want to get the, the most uh, prominent, the biggest shape first. Now I use my one inch flat brush. I'm going to start wash into the background area to cover, to create a big shape. Uh, because this is a live painting event, uh, there are about 20 other artists in the same room. And also the model doesn't, usually the live model doesn't like to be photo taken. If you get used to seeing my photo reference, for this video, I won't be able to show the photo reference because there's no photo reference. So now I mix with uh, various colors to create a soft uh, background area. When you work in the background, if you want the background look soft, you can use there's two things you can make the background soft. Use a little bit more water. Second thing, use a bigger brush. Let the water do some work for you. Now I'm going into the arm that are close to me. Uh, her arm is because the, the spotlight mostly at the uh, front and on the chest area and the face area. So the arm that close to me appear to be darker. This is the stage that I only focus on the big areas. Like I see the whole background and the body is the light color and the arm a one color form. Now I want to change back to the number 10 round brush to mark some smaller shapes of at the front. And for this version of the painting, I want to um, make it simple. Make it simple, a little bit cleaner. So now I'm looking for the shapes. And if I need to be lighter, I just use a little bit more water. Now to add a little bit red color into it. So with this little red colors, it, this is what I see for the other arm that is right on top of the tummy. And you can see that there is some pretty wet color waiting for to the opportunity to, to drip down. And this is why I don't want to touch my brush into those wet area. So now I use uh, the water, just do a little blending and blending into, because at the top over there, the color very much close to dry. For some areas supposed to be lighter or softer, I first use the water to remove the color or soften the edge before I apply a new color into the space. Now I also put a little dark color at the back. Uh, first I just use this round brush to draw some lines. 
Now I want to make the line a little bit bolder. And in the painting process like this, you first you know how much time you have. Second thing is you need to know which areas are already dry, they're ready for you for the next step. And what area you probably have to wait. So now I mix a new color and start working into the shape for the eye. Uh, at this point, I'm not ready to actually paint any details in the eye. I just want to look for the shapes for the whole area. Now also working into the corner of the nose, of the nose and uh, should give a little suggestion the corner of the mouth. And now I make the corner of that shape a little bit softer. And different medium uh, would slightly some process a little bit different. Uh, for example, watercolor, if you want to get a soft transitions uh, quicker, and you probably want to do a little uh, soften, a little softening when it's still wet. Now I just add, added some red color into the side of the face because the cheek area, it has some warmer feeling. I also put a little red color into the ear area. Just keep it simple and you don't want to and whatever i'm all everything that i put it down right now especially on the arm on the body that's only the base color uh, i'm going to develop a little more at the next step and i'm just putting a little bit of color suggestions for the mouth and the time is already running uh running out for this uh, painting section and I need to go a little bit faster. Now I put a little darker color uh, to define the edge at the, the shadow side of the arm. It's very big, very dark. Now also putting in the, um, the back of the hair. I want to use this simple, the simple, simplest way to describe this is my second painting this evening uh, from the same post, the same model. Um, I want to create the illusion. I create the feeling that is the hair in the back. I want to give it um, a little darker definitions right under uh, this shape, under the, and also give a little catch the shadow uh, feeling and the shadow side of their fingers. And lots of those middle tone, I'm not ready to get into. So I want to capture their um, the most most important uh, the most important elements to describe my observation. Now I give it a little indications of uh, the turning of those fingers and the, and the arm. And also the paint now is getting drier and drier now. So soon enough, I'm going to be ready to get into some area that I was not ready to. Give a little bit more indications for the hand. Now I'm going to come back to do our another color so that it blend into uh, the dark color that I just set there. For most of the people, they may believe it's risky to do uh, figure paintings, very complicated subject matter. Uh, get a little warm color. And just thinking about what you can do with the limited brush strokes, with the limited colors, the limited details uh, for the maximum expression. 
Figure painting and drawings are just fun. For our enjoying art members, if you're a beginning figure artist, uh, the first thing you need to work on is to understand the human anatomy. Uh, we have a site to help you to go through the exercise. We have a whole semester, a whole semester long of the materials for you to practice. Now I'm going to look into inside the eye to give a little indication for the details. And this time I'm used a smaller round brush. It's a sable brush. It's very soft and small. And basically for the brushes, I only use about three or four brushes. One is the one inch bigger flat brush. And the second one is would be the number 12 round brush, sable, and or even add the number 10 round sable. Now I add the red color into the face. At this point, I mostly can just use the primary colors to overlay on top of whatever the color they already have on the paper. When we're doing paintings and drawings, all we can do is looking for shapes, the light shape and the dark shape, and the shape around the white area. Um, now I try to correct the shape for the ear. So I create a little bit more contrast around the ear. We are saying that a lot that sometimes when you make the shapes for one uh, area, you don't have to work inside the area. You can work outside of the area at the same time you're making the form for inside the shapes. So it just give a, a little indication uh, to do a little bit more. At this point, it's just get a little bit more indication into it, give a little bit convincing details, but it's keep it really simple. Now I look at the back, the space on the back is, uh, uh, is too light, uh, create too much contrast from uh, the dark hair. So I just wash that, make it a little darker. So I continue use uh, the light brown color. Now working into the different, the value uh, to the, the shadow side of the arm. Now mix a little brown colors and even make it the arm a little bit darker. Okay. Now the arm is very much in the correct value uh, compared to the body and the face. And now the shoulder here see much warmer uh, color. So I just put a little red color there. And lots of time we see warm, I just immediately thinking about just get the primary color and put it on. Now I want to work into the back. Uh, the, uh, there's a pillow in the back of the model. I just use her. Whenever there is a bigger area and also uh, secondary objects, I use a bigger brush that is very useful to make it look softer, easier to organize and less important. It's important in the sense that uh, it doesn't really require that much details. Uh, so mainly it's just make it softer. And now figure painting with watercolor is really a fun thing to do. Uh, it's just, it's lots of challenge. And in the process, it just, actually go faster than a graphite pencil, even charcoal pencil. You can see how expressive that one brush of paint that actually equals to how many times do you draw with graphite pencil. That is much faster expression. Just get the fear out of your head and just try it. It's easy. I want to continue giving some details uh, to the pillow. The form is turning over and create uh, enough suggestion that is so the viewer can see that what is it behind her. Now I get a little deeper color uh, behind the back 
uh, of the head, and that it create the roundness and all the shape. Now the top of the hair need a little bit warmer color. It's just get the red color on top of this color. It will look like similar to the brown colors. And there you go. It's the power with the suggestions of the overlay wash. Now this simple watercolor figure paintings is finished. And that's all the time I have. Now it's already 10 o'clock at night. I'm on the way going home. It has been a fun night painting with a group of artists. Now you see, painting figure with watercolor is not really that scary. It's just absurd and paint and have fun. If you're not yet a member of our artist community, please come to join us. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and turn on notification. If you haven't connect with me in my Instagram, please check on YoungChan8. I will see you in my next lesson.